Gerald Givens was not born or raised in Raleigh. And I spent part of my uh, years growing up in St. Louis and Detroit. But Raleigh's despair and disgust over its increasing rates of gun violence are emotions Givens knows painfully well. Robbed at gunpoint at 15, Givens survived. Many in his family not as fortunate. I've lost seven family members to gun violence in my lifetime. I've lost my grandfather, my uncle, my brother, and four cousins. His grandfather, Muriel, was shot at home in bed in 1974, the murder still unsolved. His brother, Lavelle, just 22 years old when he was shot and killed in 1997. Three months ago in St. Louis, his two-year-old cousin, Israel, got access to his father's gun. The toddler shot and killed himself. It's a lot of trauma, and I know what this pain is like. So that's why I'm so dedicated. 11% of the aggravated assaults in the fourth quarter were committed by juveniles who had access to guns. Raleigh's gun violence crisis is clear. More gun crimes and more of them committed by teenagers. 49 homicides in 2022, the city's highest single year tally since the FBI began keeping comprehensive violent crime stats. The final quarter of last year saw a 50% increase in homicides over the same period a year before. The disturbing trends triggering Givens to pitch city leaders on his idea for violence intervention. These issues are confounding a lot of people. What makes you think you can fix it? Well, I think that what we can do is begin to do what we can to mitigate some of the problems. He's calling it Boots on the Ground, a five-member team of trained community-led violence interrupters, providing projects and services, a digital dashboard to account for what's working and what's not, and a four- to five-year safety plan for the mayor. The program rolling out in four parts of the city, especially vulnerable to gun crimes, including where we did our interview, the 1600 block of New Bern Avenue. Why is this an area of focus? The data tells us that this is where we need to be. You got homelessness, you got drug addiction, you have unemployment issues, and I can go on and on. Givens aiming to address the root causes of gun violence with cognitive behavioral therapy for conflict resolution and support services for survivors of gun crimes. Amid all the bloodshed from his own family to the city he calls home now, this gun violence survivor, confident boots on the ground, can bring change. I am optimistic that we can get these things down. You're optimistic. Very optimistic. The city of Raleigh's initial investment in boots on the ground is $1.2 million, along with another 800000 for the city's Acorns Police Division. Right now, a panel of local leaders is selecting the violence interrupters. Orientation and training begins when the team is in place later this year.